what we are going to do in Mexico with uh, Khalil and, and our colleagues from, all, from other uh, countries. In, in our case, we are thinking to make special invitations to researchers from uh, as the astronomy field, from uh, geology, uh, from remote, the remote sensing area, people who do research in, in the hydraulic uh, field. And so, in this sense, what we will intend is to have their experience. They know about uh, about the needs, about uh, uh, the projects that uh, has to be solved in our countries. And so I think that uh, with that interaction, we will intend to generate a, a storm, uh, a brainstorm uh, process in order to have uh, uh, ideas and complement them with uh, people from, from the uh, aerospace field. And I think in that case we can generate uh, good ideas that uh, might be competitive. In, in the case of Mexico we have uh, very good researchers in, in astronomy. I think uh, uh, they might have also the capabilities to, to generate uh, ideas as the one from, from the MIT. So I think we have to explore and to explore that, uh, that kind of of possibilities. Uh, and I also think in the next competition the focus may be more on environmental issues. And everyone lives in a certain environment. So you know what is the issues in your environment and how can space help to solve those issues. So that's also a thing to, to think about. And 
the reviewers will also perhaps look at that because there is the IAA award for, for the environment, uh, to look at the environment, environmental proposals to help the uh, problems we have in pollution wise and CO2, etc. Water. I wonder from which country that, uh, for the first prize and the third prize? Uh, the first prize was Japan. The second prize was uh, uh, MIT USA, and the third prize was uh, UK. So it's all space countries right. uh, all, all and people working in, 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 in space in industry, in the space industry. So it's a bit unfair, but again, and you can see many of these proposals, it's not proposals they came up with just for the competition. They're working on that. That was part of their PhDs, perhaps. Um, but again, it's a competition, and you have rules in the competition. But we don't want to discourage newcomers. So we have a student competition now that uh, wasn't there in the previous, previous round. And everyone le learns from this as well. So you, you learn, you can see there's now a book that's going to be published for you to, to, to read the papers, the 10 or 11 based so on, on, on papers. will be in the book. Yes, the full paper will be in the book, not only the abstract. So it's the full paper, so it's a good thing to, to read that and to see what, what really made them won the competition. Because right now it looks more like a heavyweight boxer with a flyweight boxer. Mm. It's very difficult. And then you're going to discourage all the developing countries. Yeah, no, you don't want to do that, otherwise you're limiting the competition. Thank you. Well, uh, in the same uh, uh, direction of comments from uh, Pesau, uh, I have seen that uh, some uh, scientists, not necessarily related to space technology, but uh, sometimes they had good ideas for, for, for example, for, I mean, to, to solve problems uh, that has a, a big impact on society. For example, food security mm. in our countries is, uh, is essential, is a, is a big problem. So, uh, some of these uh, the, um, theories that these scientists have in, in one field of uh, or area of uh, scientific activity, uh, most of them are not related to space technologies or space uh, uh, scientific uh, activities. So, Maybe we can find a way to, to join, to make a joint of uh, some other scientific areas that has a good impact on society, and uh, try to find a space, uh, uh, try to find solutions using space technology. You know, maybe we can work on having a figure on that uh, that kind of uh, of uh, developments. Maybe. You mean in the in the evaluation criteria? What do you mean by a figure? Uh, I mean that maybe uh, trying to have another category, another category of uh, how to, to how to link uh, the space solutions to problems uh, uh, related yeah, to. Yeah, I think I think that is the novel mission that first one they twenty five marks. Uh, it's a novel thing that hasn't flown before in space, and but you. And the impact on society. And the impact on society. So the first 50 marks is really for that. Uh, but it doesn't help you just having that. You need to solve it either in this category with a technical solution or in the next category with a business solution. Mm -hmm. How will it make business sense? Mm -hmm. If you don't have the technical capability, solve it from a business point of view. So that, okay. that may be easier in countries, countries with, without any space experience. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. And this our next, we will try to invite Professor Salman Sri in this one to make a presentation.